Hey guys, welcome back to Stacy Goes Outside. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I make fishing videos and I try to post content at least once a week. So if fishing is your jam, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I'm here in Florida for this episode. Jason and I flew into Orlando a couple days ago and we came specifically for this trip. We're going trophy bass fishing today and this is probably the greatest guest I will ever have on the channel. It's gonna be super hard to top this. So you'll see here in a few minutes who we'll be spending our day with. It's about 6 a.m. and we just pulled up to Felsmere Outdoor Adventures and uh, we're gonna grab our stuff, go inside and uh, wait for our guide today. So cannot wait, can't tell you how excited I am. Let's go fishing. Stacy, hey, how are you? Hey, hey, how you doing? Good. That's right. Our guide today is none other than Roland Martin. Yes, that Roland Martin. Lifetime tournament angler, nine-time bass angler of the year, author, father of pro angler Scott Martin, big bass catcher, and he's widely considered one of the three living legends in the industry today. I, got, I went and got the sandwiches, okay. and I got the ice, and I got the gas, and that's, uh, I'm a couple minutes late, but... We can do a combination of things today. Okay. Now, yesterday it was we did we caught a, on top water. We caught some of worms and we caught most of them on shiners. We caught a whole bunch of bass, but we didn't have anything much over six pounds. We had a couple already at six pounds. So we had a, <laughs> we had a good day yesterday, but again, we didn't have a trophy trophy. We had a couple big bass, but not monster bass. You know. Just, what do you consider a trophy? How many pounds? To me, it's eight pounds. Okay. To, to, uh, 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 I, I average an eight pounder because some days we catch a couple and some days we don't. But I, for the year, I've averaged an eight pounder a day. Oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, good morning. I love your YouTube videos. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thanks for everything yeah, you're thank fishing. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. You. Anyway, I'm going to get the shiners in. You, if you want, we can drive in my truck. Let me get uh, the shiners and then that's about all we need. Okay. Hey, how are you? Well, these are my shiners. Okay. 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 How you doing? Good. How y'all doing this morning? Good. 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 <laughs> See ya. The, the, the gal, the gal's wife from yesterday. That's great. I've seen that online. Rolling snack box. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> She's got all sorts of snacks in there. Oh. <laughs> Headwaters Lake. Our goal is to catch a trophy, which is an eight pounder. Roland was telling us that if you catch an eight pounder here in Florida and you document it, you send it in, you get a certificate, you might get something from Bass Pro. So that's going to be the goal today. But um, really, we're just out here to have a good time, learn a lot of stuff, catch bass with live bait for the first time, and uh, just have a ton of fun. It's a real roomy boat. It's nice. And it and it's aluminum, so it, it, it you know you don't get it all messed up. Mm -hmm. How many different boats do you have? Well I got this one and I have my Z21 a big a big bass boat. It's a big nitro. Oh, okay. It's more expensive of course than this one. But this <laughs> one this one actually for about forty something thousand you get it all tricked out. Mm. Whereas if you trick out the nitro, it's 80. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On a good day. The, the interesting thing about this place is, is this Felsmere Farms complex is a great big billion dollar agricultural deal. And so they donated this money for uh, for tax purposes. They, they donated this land. It was 10,200 acres. And, they, and it's, so it's for a big tax write -off. 
consequently they dug all these things and they had all the agriculture and there's, there's you'll see all these uh rows where they had orange groves and everything else and so then there's all these canals and all this irrigation stuff so it's 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 just a big diked off farm yeah but there's 17 of these big deep water places like this and we're going to go that's where we're going to go first place i've caught more big fish around those deep water spots than any place how deep is this lake well it'll be uh where we're going to fish it'll be about 25 foot 25 There's a big ledge, it comes out of 15, 20 foot, just, just a little bit behind the boat. And then we can also throw a float over here. I'll do that first, and that's kind of neat to watch. The free line's not quite as easy. Well, it, it, you just see it take off. And and what when it went, also we get to feed them shiners, it kind of chums them up. You know, it's uh, kind of okay. like salt water deal. Once they, once they, once they get, kind of start biting, and they'll be chasing shiners around, all of a sudden they get around and load. kind of a special way of doing this. You don't set the hook real hard. The reason is that the circle hook doesn't really hook them good when you set the hook hard. It's kind of like a deal you kind of pull on them slow and easy. If you jerk on them hard, you'll miss a lot of fish. And when you jerk on them hard, it pulls the bait off the hook. So what I was telling the boy yesterday, I said, just pull on it real slow and easy until it loads up. And if you feel it load up and it's really solid, then you can set the hook. But what happens half the time, you go reel it and it loads up and then it pops loose because it's out of its mouth. The second it pops loose, you stop. You just stop and then you come back and hit it every time. You come back and hit it a second time. <laughs> and it, you pull it again and it kind of pops. It, 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 finally, it, it, lo it pull it and it loads up good and really solid and then you got them. Look at that. Start reeling. 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 Got them? Got them? Got them? Yeah. How's it feel? It's hard to figure out if they got it or not, you know, because you don't feel much. Like In fact, I'm going to try to get that shiner. Now, there's a trick to getting these things out when they swallow it like this. What it is, it's a short little circle hook. And I go through the gill, and I get the back of it like this. And I go in 180, right there. Okay, right there. No, no blood, no fuss, perfect little bass. It's healthy as could be. Nice.
Got one. Oh! You got one? Big one? How big? You got it? Uh oh. Good you move it. Live shiners, folks. Look at that gorgeous bass. First of many. Okay, worm time. Cinco. Cinco time. Still there? Got him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he just quit biting. Yeah. We got, oh. we got, we got, we got more sinkos and shiners, I'm sure. Nice. What was that? Just a Texas rig? Yeah. Oh. How uh, heavy of a weight? Three eighths? Three sixteenths? Three sixteenths? Three sixteenths ounce? That's a three sixteenths. Oh. Oh, there's one right here. Oh. Oh, he's just taking it. Yep. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, it's running. Oh. 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 You know, what, you know what she's got? What is that? She's got a giant loach. A what? Giant loach. It's a grinnel. It's a what? <laughs> yeah. They're kind of tricky. What? It's a, yeah, they got teeth. What is it? I've never seen one of those. What is it? Can you pull out that bird and take a picture of it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what is it? It's a, it's a grinnel. Grinnel? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh oh. There we go. There's no really good way to hold them unless you put uh, them in the net or something. Oh, I have a um. You can put that in his mouth. What the heck is that? It's a, what they call a bow fin. Bow fin. It, it's a, it's also what they call a, a, a grinnel. It's a bow fin. People kind of think they're kind of trashy, but they're fun to catch. <laughs> And yeah, they're thinking they bite good, so <laughs> what the heck. In fact, I have not even eat them, so they're not they're not bad. But they do have teeth. You can't grab them. They oh. have real bad oh, teeth. Yeah, they, yeah. they gotta cut you really bad. And you can't hold them any other way. The gripper, her gripper is the only really way to hold hold one of these fish. Because you can't hold them with your hand, they're just too slimy and they yeah. just cut your fingers and everything else. But that's a that's a good deal. I think what I'm gonna do is because it's way down his throat. Yeah. I'm just going to let him have that hook, and I'm going to just cut this yeah, that's line. Right here. Yeah, <laughs> so that's good. Okay. So that's really back. Yep. I thought that was a huge bass. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was running like crazy. Oh, no, Woo! So healthy. That's yeah, a nice one. Nice sharp teeth, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, by the way, that shiner was dead. Here we go through a lot 
fish on here, that's for sure. These sandwiches are you love. These are more than we can eat. This is one sandwich. <laughs> one? This is one. <laughs> and there's another one. Jeez. And I can only eat, I can only eat half of them. <laughs> Yep. Uh, he was in grass. <laughs> Still fish. Yep. really left-handed, can you tell? Yeah. A little better. <laughs> Roland's not impressed by these two-pounders. <laughs> Jason and I have had some rough days on the water, so this is already better than most days. Like, we're all for numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, it's funny because the last big one I caught was uh, last week. And I, I'd gone in there the day before with Mike, and uh, and we'd caught uh, about 15 little ones, like kind of like catching. Mm -hmm. And I came back to film it, and I was videoing it. And I made, I, I, I was showing how to show do it single when I was doing it just right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I made like 10 casts in a row and caught like 10 fish. And everything was good. I said, "There's other ways to catch fish. I'm going to try a." I'm gonna try a chatterbait. I picked up the chatterbait first cast. I love chatterbait nine, fishing. Seven. Oh my gosh. It was the only big one I caught that day. <laughs> so you know there's little there's big ones in here. Yeah. Just you just don't ever know when they're gonna get. Hey, it's yeah. fishing, we know. There's some big ones in here. Wow. Oh, okay. yeah, came back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> a lot of grass. <laughs> Felt huge. <laughs> I'm used to that. We, I fish the delta all the time, so. Yeah. That's cool. That's funny. Look at that. Oh, you got one. Reel, 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 Keep going. Look at that. But he just, he saw what happened. He's just charging. He just, yep. he just went crazy. That's a big, yeah. That's a decent one. Fish. Getting better. Look how dark that thing is. Look, he's been caught before. <laughs> you can see. You can yep. see the. See oh my gosh! Spot right there. Yep. Did you want to get me? A, nice. You want to get a picture of that? Sure. Probably the best one today. Yeah, it's got a few more like that. Me too. Me too. Oh, my popped off. Oh, that's a better one. Good one. Like this. And we, uh, yeah, like that. And then just turn the hook. Yeah, go on the, go on the side that this you're going to be able to turn it out, out from. Yep. Right here. Uh, yeah, we don't have to pull it out. Pull on. There's no, no blood. There's not a speck of blood in there. Nope. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay, get, 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 you gotta go, get, 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 get
sometimes you get out there like that, Whew. instead of being two and three pounds, they'll be seven or eight pounds. There's, there's a whole school of fish here. There's yeah. a lot of fish. Yeah. And there, there should be a big one, but I don't know. I mean, it's who knows. <laughs> I mean, there's a bite like crazy. Nice yeah, size fish, but I don't yeah. know. I'm looking, I'm looking at you. <laughs> I mean, that's, these are nice fish, all right. The big one? Bigger. Maybe four. Oh, yeah. Uh. Big three. Oh, now we're talking. Purple. Good one. Gosh, look how dark they are. Just living under there. We're on that little point right there. We went underneath that, that point of was a drill. Nice one. There you go. It actually went on the other side. And uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Got it? Yeah, that's another big one. Jeez. Big fish in there. Right at that point. Man. Never seen you catch so many fish before. Fish. <laughs> you sure that's the last cast? Four something. It's getting good. It's good. Wow. What? Sitting there, he came up and grabbed oh. it. Oh. Sitting there, solid, wasn't it? So it's fixing. Oh, it's cold. Ha ha ha. Got some hot water. Woo! Oh, nice. <laughs> I just popped it a little bit, and I sat there, and I just hit the fix in my hat. So the popper was just sitting on top of the water, you weren't even. Yeah. Real, 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 real. Okay, please. Uh, set it. Okay. No. Oh, sorry. Little guy. Little bass. I think there would be some trophies here. Trophy <laughs> bass. Thumbs a little. Oh, shoot. No shortage of twos, threes, and fours. Oh. <laughs> you did that one quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, better. That's at least a four. That's good. Yeah, three ish, I think. Not four. All right. Nice solid bass. Yeah, 
Wow, that's a big one. Yeah, I swam from that corner to this corner, from that to that little weed patch. <laughs> I knew as soon as it hit the weed patch, something would ambush it. Another nice one. Look at that. That beautiful, amazing. All right, guys, so no trophy fish today, but you can't argue with a 30, 35 bass day. Great day on the water with Roland. What a nice, kind man. He told us so many funny stories, personal anecdotes. Never caught bass on live bait, so that's completely new to me. And when Roland wants to introduce you to a new type of fishing, you do it. I'm gonna get loaded up and get back part ways and hopefully get some dinner. Hey, hey guys, hey Roland Martin here. I want to tell you what, this gal, she, she's a real fisherman. She, <laughs> she, she did the job. And also Jason did the job too. 35 or 30 bass today. Yeah, it was a good day. And several big three and four pounders, nice, big, beautiful fish. No big monster trophies. Hey, but they call out of ass. Well, thank you so much. We yeah. truly appreciate it. It was a long day on the water. I know you tried to get us a trophy and it didn't happen, but you know, we can't complain about getting three and four pounders all day with you, so. Well, thank really you, Rosa. We really had a good time. Yeah, very good that time. That was excellent. So thanks so much. Hey, how'd you it. enjoy that sandwich? You, 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 you want that one out? Take it take off. The best sandwiches <laughs> in town. <laughs> I zoomed in on that sandwich. I think you guys will see it. Roast beef with fully loaded roast beef sandwich. And, and, and the, <laughs> this is Pat Kelly. Pat is, 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 is the proprietor here. And what do you call, you change the name. What, what we got? So it's gonna be, Felsmere Fishing Headquarters. Oh, we, we haven't been getting real big, big fish lately because the big fish have not pushed up yet, but we've been getting numbers. I mean, lots of numbers. Oh, yeah. the, the water moving after the hurricane oh, boy. And, and all the flooding and, and the, geez, a lot of fish being caught. Anyway, Stacey, you're a good little fisher gal. Thank you Stacey, so much. you're awesome. <laughs> I mean, you, and, and your husband is, is fantastic. I mean, we really, really, Happy to have you guys down here. We hope you come back soon. We definitely will. Thanks so Thanks much. much. Thank you, Appreciate man. Appreciate it. guys so just a few parting thoughts here so every year we see Roland at the classic and we see him at ICAST and I told Jason you know I would love to be able to fish with him one day so right after ICAST probably the beginning of August went on his website I saw that he would be guiding in October and Jason and I usually take an anniversary trip every year mid-October so I thought that that might work out perfectly emailed Roland, got a nice message back from his wife, Judy. Everything was set for us for mid-October. And then of course, Hurricane Ian comes. Once the storm had passed through Florida, you know, I emailed Judy. I'm like, let me know if you guys are okay, first of all, because that's the most important thing. And I said, I know we have a trip plan coming up. Let us know if you need us to reschedule. It's not a big deal. And then I didn't hear from her for five or six days, so I got really worried. But she eventually got back to me, said that they lost power, but had no damage. And where Roland was planning on taking us fishing, there wasn't any damage either, so our plans were still on. So super grateful that it worked out and that the area was pretty much unscathed. Can't even begin to tell you guys how many times Roland apologized for not putting us on a trophy bass. And we kept telling him, hey, it's fishing. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Who knows if the hurricane affected those conditions, but he was pretty hard on himself. And I kind of felt bad that he felt so bad. We caught fish all day. We were able to pick his brain about fishing and his long career and television and bass, just so many things. And that made the day totally worth it. 
What you didn't see in the video was that we actually tried a lot of different methods to catch those bass. We tried top water, Carolina rigs, spinner baits, and Jason did get one on a Texas rig Senko in the morning. And then he caught one on a top water popper in the afternoon. But other than those two fish, the rest came on live shiners, either under those big pink and orange floats or just free lining without the floats. So I just have a couple of recommendations if you're planning on booking with Roland or, you know, any guide really. Try to book as early as possible. We booked probably three months out and be flexible, you know. It's fishing. They want you fishing the best conditions, the best water, you've got weather, you've got moon phases, you've got water temperature and clarity and all that stuff. So just make sure that you give them a window. I think uh, Judy asked us for a seven day window when we booked. And then the only other thing I would recommend, I mean, you see that I totally suck reeling left-handed. I reel right-handed, whether it's a spinning reel or a bait caster, that's just the way I learn. So, you know, you put a reel in my hand that's left-handed, it's gonna look as clunky as it did in the video. So if that's gonna be an issue for you, call ahead and request right-handed reels or left-handed if you need left-handed. If they can accommodate you, fine. If not, you just gotta get through it, I guess. Or ask if you can bring your own reels and just make sure that you have the right line. Don't expect them to put fresh line on your reels. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss anything. I've got more bass fishing videos coming up. Here in California, the crab opener is just around the corner at the beginning of November, and I'll be doing a trip with a whole bunch of my friends on opening weekend. Don't forget to message me with suggestions about my channel, where I should fish, any video ideas you might have, and who knows, maybe the next time I'm out there searching for that trophy bass, I'll see you outside.